So now we're going to talk about advanced concepts of a sprained ankle. So what happens when there's an ankle sprain is there's flexion, there's also inversion. And that's going to overstretch the lateral ligaments and the anterior joint capsule. So because the dome of the talus, which is the bone that of course articulates with the tibia, is very round, that means that when the foot flexes and inverts, the foot often gets stuck behind the dome of the talus. So we have to move the whole foot back underneath the tibia. So I can just gently push and do anterior to posterior glide on the talus, which is just below the tibia, or a very nice simple way is to put my index or my pisiform right on the talus and just say bring your foot up gently, good, and then relax. And I'm pushing the talus posteriorly while she's lifting her foot up. Lift your foot up please, good, that's great. And that's repositioning this talus and now of course dorsiflexion is much easier. Other thing that happens is it's very hard to evert when there's been an inversion sprain. So I'm going to evert it and I'm going to say as I push your foot out, you accentuate a little bit for me. Push it out a little bit. Good, and then relax. That's great. And push it out one more time. Perfect. Now you, I don't have someone move it like that if it's very, very painful. And now we want to tape it because we've overstretched the joint capsule here. We've overstretched the lateral uh, ligaments. So the way we do that is I'm using some coverall stretch tape again because it's really great for ligaments, even though the kinetic tape is great for muscles and things where it has to be pliable. I bring the foot up to a neutral position and then I tape it connecting the tibia to the top of the foot, the dorsal part of the foot. I also don't want her to invert it, so I'm going to also put a piece of tape right here on this lateral ankle on the distal fibula I just attach it here and then I very gently pull on the tape, bring the foot up a tiny bit and then I lock it in and that will prevent inversion. See how easy this tape job is? It's so simple. And then if I really want to protect this from inverting, I add a third piece kind of like a fan and I take this tape and I put it right in between those two pieces of tape and make a little fan here. So notice how simple this tape job is. So the distal part of the fibula or the ankle, it attaches to the ankle and underneath the foot. I also have a piece, of course, connecting the tibia to the top of the foot. I have a piece that is right in the middle and that prevents any kind of inversion or flexion strain to protect all these ligaments so that this joint heals up to be completely normal. And that's how we tape a badly sprained ankle.